Hello all, my name is Krishnayak and welcome to my YouTube channel. So guys, in this video, I'm going to give you an amazing interview question that was recently asked in a product-based company, okay? So everybody is very much familiar with unsupervised machine learning. Obviously, you know what is k-means, what is agglomerative clustering, that is basically nothing but hierarchical clustering. And I hope you also know about DV scan clustering. And I've also uploaded videos regarding all these things. But this is an amazing interview question, okay? Just see this, okay? Let's say uh, here I have imported all the three algorithms and then I've created my own data set with the help of make underscore classification. So, and then I probably did my train test split. I, I'm not worried about what is Y data, okay? But obviously I have some train data and test data, let's say. And you know that, right? In unsupervised machine learning, you don't need to have an output because we'll try to cluster the data. So I'm just going to consider X train and X test. Now, in order to apply k-means, so I will initialize with k-means, I will initialize with hierarchical mean, I will initialize with db scan, okay? And after that, I will do fit with x train, fit over here for this clustering, which is an uh, agglomerative clustering, hierarchical clustering, and the db scan also, I'm actually trying to do the fit, okay? Now, <clears throat> see this, this is very important, okay? Then after that, when I do k-means.predict on x test, right what i can also do is that over here if i probably write k means dot label okay so i will be able to get how many different labels i'm getting from my train data set okay and internally you know k means creates a centroids right uh, based on number of categories or number of outputs it is able to find out okay now in order to predict it you just need to use k means dot predict on the test data now see the prediction with respect to clustering okay for this particular hierarchical clustering and db scan so if I probably write clustering dot predict on my x underscore test data. And similarly, if I go ahead and write db scan, or first of all, let me just execute this. So here you'll be able to see that agglomerate clustering has no attribute predict, okay? So this is the error that you are probably getting. And similarly, if I probably try to execute with respect to db scan, so here you will be able to see db scan dot predict and if I probably go ahead and write x underscore test, here also you'll be seeing that it has no attribute predict. Now tell me, because this was recently asked in one of the product-based interview, that why k-means has a predict method and why clustering and db scan does not have a predict method. Okay, I'll probably make a detailed video about this in my next video, but just I really want to see a lot of answers. See, if I probably find out satisfactory answers, I'm not going to make a video. But I'll give you a hint. This is based on the theoretical implementation, how k-means are actually, uh, k-means clusters the data, how hierarchical mean cluster the data, and how db scan cluster the data. Now, there is a technique of centroids in k-means. So, because of some reason, you are having a predict method. But what about the hierarchical mean clustering and db scan clustering? Why it does not have a predict method? Amazing question, guys, just to think, because if probably if I also ask you, you'll start thinking why probably predict method is not there, you know, obviously fit underscore predict is there. See, if I probably go ahead and write, right, clustering, clustering dot fit underscore predict, right, that this is there. This usually happens for my training data set. Okay. So for my training data set here, you can see basically you can have fit underscore predict. Okay. But when you are doing fit, right, you are basically, when you are doing fit on this, right. I'm probably trying to find out the labels. Let's see. So clustering dot labels is there, obviously. So you're getting zeros and ones, okay? Now with respect to this here, you're directly able to get the output. But what about the test data? So how do we handle the test data in this case? And similarly in the DB scan case. In k-means, obviously we have the predict method, so we can definitely handle the test case, okay? So yes, let me know guys, this was a recent interview that was asked in a product based company. Let me see how many of you answered the question. Please make sure that you comment down in the section. If I don't find out a satisfactory answer, I'll probably create a detailed video regarding this. Okay. So yes, this was it from my side. I'll see you all in the next video. Thank you. Bye-bye. Take care.